Today, we are traveling to Los Angeles, California. Although, there is a massive storm brewing on the horizon. Tonight, we're at the Team Rar house here with Carter Sher. This is his house and this is Liz. We've been invited out because there's some uh, things here that they can't explain, some weird things going on. So we're here to investigate to see if this is caused by any kind of spiritual activity. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. We were invited to investigate a home that was once owned by Frank Sinatra. Now, it is owned by none other than Carter Sherr of Team RAR. Are you ready to get started? Guys, I think the ghost hunters are here. The truth comes out today. The truth? Yeah, it does. Let's see if it's going on. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, man? Matt. Matt, I'm Carter. Nice Good to meet you. Karina. Karina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Carter. Yeah. So I'm interested to hear anything you guys may have. Yeah, we were thinking about maybe not telling you and see what you guys find. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if something's here, we can, we can find it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I can find it. I found it many times. <laughs> <laughs> Have you actually like seen anything like no, your own you eyes? Hear stuff. Yeah, you'll hear a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, we've seen things. I mean, not like ghosts or anything. Right. Just stuff that you couldn't really explain. That was a little out of the ordinary. Like, oh, okay, yeah. what was that? Yeah, we've had yeah. our like dog like stare there and freeze behind you. Oh shit. And like okay. lots of odd behavior. We've heard like doors close. Um, We've had like lights flicker in front of us and stuff. Footsteps. Nice. Steps. Footsteps in the attic. All the time. Really? Yeah. All the time. Doors opening. All kinds of stuff. Is there any like specific, you know, like I'll, you know, on our camera and stuff, I'll record me like asking these questions and shit, but mm -hmm. um, any like particular time of day or night that happens more frequently? Yeah, like in the evening for sure. Okay. okay. Yeah. Probably like uh, around maybe like in an hour or so from now. Oh. But you said it. It's like around 1 30. Yeah. yeah, and then another time, uh, the footsteps in the attic, I heard one night and I was like freaked out about it. It was like middle of the night? Yeah, so like so I think I picked up my it. phone and I filmed it and I couldn't really pick it up because it was really faint. If right. We, if we amplified the audio, you can kind of hear, but it's yeah. not much to see. It's just dark and I'm in my, like, sleep literally in my bed. Right. The next night, or the next day, I tell everyone, no one believe me. And then Liz was sleeping over that night. <laughs> she heard it too, so I filmed it again, and it was at 1.32 both nights. Oh, okay. And I had like video footage to like show the timestamp, literally at 1.30 both okay. nights. So. And it happened three nights in a row, and it stopped. We started like from the one end of my room, started walking, and then it went over my bed, and then stopped. Like an orange balloon that was like floating mid height. You know, it wasn't doesn't on scream that. Pennywise at all. And I have this. <laughs> this is not, no, it doesn't. It's orange though, wasn't it? So it's like an off-brand. It's close. <laughs> it's an off-brand. It's a wish Pennywise. Yeah, it's like an off-brand version. And this happened at night. People were downstairs. We're playing music. I just took a shower and I came out of my room right here, and it was right in front of my door. So at this point, I already knew to huh. film everything. So I'll go ahead and start with this biggest piece here. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering what this might be. So this is a full spectrum camera rig. We've got a bunch of IR lights uh, outfitted onto this and an extra screen. So you can walk around and catch things in uh, full spectrum rather than the regular spectrum. This is called a Melmeter. This is actually a ghost magnet or an EM pump. It's got a, a powerful earth magnet that spins on the insides, causing a lot of uh, EMF uh, waves to be pushed out into the air. So here is a PSP7 sphere box. It's essentially the electronic version of the Ouija board. So it just scans radio frequencies and you should be able to get a hold of something, talk to something through this. 
You got the thermometers for thir uh, uh, surface temperature, I'm sorry. Uh, you got the GQ EMF, which is just a heightened version of the EMF meter. It would actually tell you what's causing the spikes and if they're dangerous spikes. Tri-field uh, natural EM meter is probably one of the most uh, known pieces of equipment for paranormal investigating. It's industry standard. It's what everybody uses. These little guys are EMF arrays. If anything's around, the blue light will light up. The little coil uh, on top is supposed to detect if anything's around it. So you actually see them light up. So you can place that in a room somewhere off. If it's on camera, you can monitor whether or not something's happening in that room. This is something that I just created. I just built this within the past couple of days. I call it MP1 for Necrophone 1. It's the first version of something that I plan on creating. Essentially, you have a couple of different systems in here that's almost like your voice and the voice of whatever you're talking to are on the same radio frequency speaking together. I definitely get like a a feeling in my gut in here. I don't know what that feeling really means. I'm gonna have to be here a little bit, you know, more to, to really figure it out. But there's there's definitely something to be at it. Now that the sun is setting, we are ready to begin this investigation of the Team Rar House, once home to Frank Sinatra. I just saw an orb on camera come out of this bathroom. Hell yeah. Witch. Did you hear that? No. As soon as I turned it on, it said witch. After further review of this footage, we discover it sounded more like the name Rachel. Are you in here with me right now? No. no. Yeah, I didn't hear no. We are going to amplify the audio and you tell me what it is you hear. Look at that, the cover of Diamond Shadows. Let's play that back one more time at a slower speed. I want it. While focusing on the spirit box, the camera picked up an unintentional EVP. It just said Michael. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me what happened here? Who are you? For those of you that don't know, the word Dibbuk is a noun for a malevolent wandering spirit that enters and possesses the body of a living person until exercised. Can I speak to Frank? Are you here with me, Frank? Who's going upstairs first? Me. We were all just up in the attic. And I didn't even trigger a one. Yeah, all these went down to like 
Mine, I, was, I was in the, yeah. I was in right the by hallway. the door one to three. Yeah, mine went to six down. in the hallway huh. door. It might be moving around. It might be trying to evade large groups of people by trying right, to let's do it stay in the shadows. I'm going to find you. <laughs> I always do that. It sounds like somebody's playing basketball. the number one sign of demonic activity. And I, as soon as I walked into the back and said, I, I saw you, I smelled it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sketch. <laughs> so, um, well, the I gotta box? go pee, so I go in there. Not come with me. <laughs> I'll go hold your hand. <laughs> Make sure it's, uh-oh. Stop. Go back to zero. Okay, I'm holding my. Actually, I don't know. It's gonna absorb <laughs> into it. I don't want that. You want to trap it? <laughs> I said, get out. My equipment shut off, and then it said, get out. So I'm not going to get out. Freaking knew that freaking bathroom was haunted. I'm holding it till I go back to Malibu. <laughs> Incredible <Cargo> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we want Carter. I want you to tell me your name. Who are you? Are you friendly or are you not? Someone say it, hurting me? We have used multiple tools in multiple locations of this house. And one thing remains clear. This place is haunted. But before we begin wrapping up for the night, we have one final thing to take care of. But it's weird that it didn't happen before. It's weird. Because we did it on the security camera downstairs where there's like an outlet, it's plugged in. Right. And it was at zero. Huh. 
I'm just hoping I don't die on the stairs. Someone's gonna put on the stairs. It's gonna happen. It's probably gonna be to be honest. As soon as we run down, the door just slams shut. <laughs> All the lights just flicker and go off. Oh, I'll pull it up. Just watching this guy. The heater? Kind of sounds like the heater. <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? No! I'm out, I'm out. No. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, what the hell? No! Are you good? The ghost got him. The ghost tried to get me on the way out. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> After spending hours here at the Team RAR house, my team and I have come to a solid conclusion. This place is in fact haunted. We still don't know who or what we were talking to, and could it be possible that we were communicating with Frank Sinatra himself? Thanks for watching. Happy hunting, stay safe.